Hey guys, let's talk about how to play Nightingale single player. There's been a lot of questions and confusion about what single player looks like in game, and I wanted to go through all the info we have now before the early access launch next week. First thing to note, at the early access launch, Nightingale will be an online only game. We will be playing on the developer's dedicated servers from character creation to tutorials and everything else. They choose to go this direction for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, for player experience. They know how difficult it can be to play with friends in games where characters are locked to specific servers. The second reason for the online only servers is for data collection. They plan on using the data they get in the early access to improve features and the performance of the game. But what does single player look like once we get into game? The developers have stated the entire game can be played solo. The realm card system has built in options for everything we need to customize our play styles. If you're not familiar with the realm card system, this is the main gameplay loop of the game. We will find ourselves in a realm, explore, solve puzzles, defeat enemies, then open a portal to a new realm. The process of creating these portals requires finding and crafting these realm cards, then playing them in a portal gateway. The realm cards have multiple options for choosing the biome, such as forest or swamp, to what enemies you want to fight, or what you want to do in the realm. In the most recent update, they showed off some extra options when opening realm portals. When creating a portal, there is a public setting. This is going to be the way that we can control playing completely solo or opening the portal up to other players publicly. This is different from playing in a private world though and then inviting friends, which we can also do. Public realms are truly public. Anyone will be able to join at will. There is also a difficulty setting that shows up when opening portals. If you want to play nightmare mode in single player, you can. Private servers and offline mode will likely be available down the road after the early access launch. Wrapping up, the unique approach that Nightingale is taking for solo play within an online only world is exciting. Nightingale gives us the freedom to create our own experiences through the realm card system, choosing the next challenge to overcome while being able to choose to open the door to other players or take on the challenges solo. I hope this helped. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. That does it for today though. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.